Apoptosis, or programmed cell death, is one of the mechanisms by which organisms limit the growth and replication of cells. If apoptosis did not occur, there would be no way to control cell growth and tissue homeostasis would be lost. In fact, this is one of the key mechanisms behind cancer. The genetic alterations in the cancer cell not only lead to increased cellular proliferation and growth, they also lead to loss of apoptosis. Along with too much cell growth, there is too little cell death in malignant tissue. Apoptosis occurs in normal cells to allow for removal of damaged cells, maintain a constant number of cells in regenerating tissues, and is an important part of embryogenesis. In an average human adult, 50 to 70 billion cells undergo apoptosis per day. Apoptosis is characterized by changes such as cell shrinkage, mitochondrial cytochrome C release, fragmentation of cell DNA into multiples of 180 base pairs, and the ultimate breakage of cells into small apoptotic bodies, which will be cleared through phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is a process where cells take in cell fragments or microorganisms in membrane-bound vesicles. The vesicles fuse with lysosome-containing proteases, and the engulfed material is processed for recycling. There are two pathways that can activate apoptosis. The first is the death receptor, or extrinsic pathway. It is triggered by activation of members of the tumor necrosis factor receptor superfamily. The second means of initiating apoptosis is through the mitochondrial or intrinsic pathway. This is set in motion by DNA damage. Both pathways ultimately stimulate a set of enzymes called caspases. The caspases interact with inhibitors of apoptosis proteins, or IAP, and the BCL2 family of proteins, which individually have either pro- and anti-apoptotic properties. In some malignant cells, there is resistance to apoptosis due to overexpression of anti-apoptotic proteins. For example, survivin is an IAP that is found in many cancers and predicts for poor outcomes, and BCL2 is overexpressed in B-cell lymphomas as a result of the translocation of its gene. Conversely, deactivating mutations of a pro-apoptotic molecule like Bax is seen in some gastrointestinal tumors and leukemias. Anti-cancer agents have been developed targeting anti-apoptotic molecules. For instance, short segments of DNA complementary to the RNA of BCL2 or antisense oligonucleotides have been designed to reduce the translation of this anti-apoptosis protein. Activation of transcription factors can lead to apoptotic resistance. This occurs, for example, when members of the nuclear factor kappa B or NF kappa B family of transcription factors are overexpressed in certain tumors which lead to increased transcription of anti-apoptotic members of the IAP and BCL2 families. The ubiquitin protosome pathway regulates the expression of transcription factors and other cell cycle proteins. Certain molecules can suppress or reduce NF-kappa B and AP1 activation and inhibit tumor promotion. Bortezomib, or Velcade, is a protosome inhibitor that has shown promising results in multiple myeloma. It inhibits the protosome, which leads to increased levels of the NF-kappa B inhibitor and therefore less anti-apoptotic proteins.